piano play it dot com Hi, welcome back to another free piano lesson by pianoplay.com. This is David here, and today we're going to talk about the piano blues chord progressions. What we're going to do is take the simple form of the 12 bar blues with only three degrees and perform harmonical changes by adding two five chord progressions, turnaround, and replacements of subdominants and such in order to complicate the blues to make it more complicated until I'm going to teach you how to play the bebop blues which I demonstrated at the beginning of this piano lesson. Lots to do, let's not talk and start getting to work. Okay, so here's the thing, I'm going to introduce you again to the 12 bar blues as it is in its most simple form. So I'm going to take a blues, a 12, a 12 bar blues in the C major scale. And the thing is, the 12 bar blues is built out of three degrees. So we're starting with the first degree and we do it four times. I'm already going to add the seventh note, so I'm going to play seventh, C seventh, because I already showed it to you in the previous lesson. So we're starting with C seventh chord four times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two bars of F7 which is the fourth degree. Let me show you. So this is C major chord. We build the chord by placing thirds upon the root note and then we go to the fourth degree. So one, two, three, four. F is the fourth degree in a C major scale. And so we have four bars of C major. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then we move to F7, two bars, to uh, and back to C, so it's the first degree again. Then we go to G7, okay, I'm already playing it in the correct chord inversion, so this is the third chord inversion, F, G, B, and D, and G in the left hand, and this is the fifth degree, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five. This is the dominant, the tenth chord. So one, two, three, four, back to the fourth degree, and then we go two times to C7. Okay, so from this simple blues form, we're going to perform changes in order to make it more interesting. The first change we're going to make is replace the last C chord. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, and now we have another C chord. And we play a C chord when we end up the blues. But what happens if we want to go to another verse of the 12 bar blues? Then we have to play the dominant. So we go back to the fifth. Okay, this allows us to create tension back to the first degree again, because that's what the dominant does. It creates tension towards the tonic, which is the first degree of the blues form, of each blues. Okay, so let me show you the last line again. So we were with the fifth degree. To, uh, I went to the fourth. From first degree, I go again to fifth degree. And then top, two, three, four, uh, two, three, four. Okay, so this was the first change, and now we're going to the second. Now, do you notice that the blue starts with four times C7, four times you play the first degree? This could be rather dull, actually. It is often played in the simple blues, but one of the first changes that people performed was replacing the second chord of C7 with the fourth degree, okay? 
Now the function of the fourth degree is to sustain, okay? It doesn't have a feeling of attention, so it doesn't really change everything. It's just a replacement chord to the tonic. It's sort of subdominant, that's why it's called so, okay? So I'm starting with the first degree and then I move to the fourth and back to first, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then again two bars of fourth degree and back to C major, the first degree. I move to G, two, three, fifth, then fourth, and back to one, and I go to another round, and again. This is called the fast change, when you go to the fourth and back. Two, three, four, one, two, three, oh, four. Fourth degree, and then I go back, okay? So this is the next change. The next change we're going to perform sits in the fourth bar of the blues. So we start with the first degree, then we perform the fast change and back. And now we have another bar of C7, rather dull, huh? What can we do with it? Okay. What we can do is add the second degree to C7. We already talked about the function of a C major chord with an added seventh as a blue note. All right, but this is not the case in the fourth bar of the blues. Here, the C seventh turns to be the dominant seventh chord of F seventh. How do I know? Because I count one, two, three, four, five, and it has all the rules. It is a major chord and a seventh chord with it. Okay, so in the fourth degree, in the fourth bar, the chord becomes functional. And as I showed you before in the chord substitutions chord, it is also possible to add to that chord its second, to perform a 2-5 chord progression. So instead of playing C7 in the fourth bar going to F, I'm going to do a 2-5 chord in the fourth bar towards the F7. So one, two, three, four, fast change, and back. And now I'm going to play G minor seventh, okay? G, B flat, D and F, and G in the left hand, that will go to C7, which was the original chord in the fourth bar. So I simply added the G minor 7th, and what is it? It's the second degree from F point of view, you see? 2, 5, 1, alright? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 bars of F, 2, 2, 2, and back to C7. Okay, so that was that change. So let's move on to the next change. So we started with C7, move to the 4th, 2, 3, and back to C7, 4th bar, G minor 7th, C7, going to F7, to, uh, uh, 2 bars, and back to C7. And now we're going to create another 2-5 chord progression from the 9th bar through the 10th bar all the way to the 11th bar where we reach again the C major, right? What is this 2-5 chord progression to C major? The second degree of C is D minor and I can add the 7th if I'd like. Then I have G7 and back to C7. Okay, so in the original blues we played here G7, 2, 3, move to F7, this is one chord progression, and back to C7. But now we are talking about two five chord progressions. So in the ninth bar I'm going to play D minor 7th to G7 and back to C. To another round I'm going to G7. Alright, and then another round. Okay, so I'm going to quit this piano lesson in here because it's too long for YouTube, but if you want to watch the rest of this piano tutorial, click on the link on the right or below, depends on when you're watching, and go to the Piano Blues Chord Progressions page where you get the full piano lesson with extra written explanations and piano tabs of the blues chord progressions, and you're going to enjoy it. It's all for free, and I hope to see you over there. Bye! Piano play it. Come, piano.